Ladies and gentlemen, the 5.0 special live stream is happening right now, and we're just waiting for this little Ajax to be done. But while we're waiting for this guy to be done, make sure you use code Tystra for 10% off at gamersubs.gg. That's right. Gluten-free, keto-friendly energy for you that is good for your soul. Good for your soul, right? So, get yourself some gamer subs. Now, we're just waiting for this to start because we are a minute over uh, on this thing, and this guy's still got like 15 lives. There we go! Finally, we're gonna start. Thank you. Sweet, merciful baby Jesus. This has gone on for seven minutes, by the way. I just want that to be clear. Stage of clear! Let's go, finally. Let's get a moving, bro. Are we starting with a trailer? Let's go! Trailer time, baby! We've arrived at the final phase. The winner of this match will take the final spot among the victors. Give Obviously, it's a tournament. I already knew it was gonna be a tournament. And first time and finalist? The Traveler. From this point forward, everything we know about the real world no longer applies. Anything can happen here. There's something in the depths of this place that feels familiar. It also foreign. So there's gonna be underground area, okay. Is not merely a trial to determine the strongest among us, but also a stage upon which to showcase your individual growth. There's Kanich. The purpose of the pilgrimage Kinich. is not only to select strong okay. warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battles. I'm really debating on getting Malani only because of the fact that you could surf on the shark. While the sacred flame burns eternal. The colors for Natland are looking really, really good. I do dig that. Okay. Some of these abilities look really, really good. I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. I'm still not sure why our why have chose me of all people. So these are the like animals, I guess, that we could be. Of the then Pyro Archon and the different Pokemon. The tribe to finally repel the abyss. Even so, the effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. Be able to be reversed little by little. This, I won't lie, Natland looks absolutely gorgeous, but it's not the way it's not the way I originally envisioned it. From the beginning, I I really want to win this time and become a true warrior. But through our long history of fighting the abyss, we've realized things aren't quite so simple. The abyss has invaded the Night Kingdom and has the capacity to read the memories of this land at any given moment. Going there, the Night Kingdom? Only those who triumph over the Abyss earn the right to be- What, well, what is this? Is this like freaking Lion King? Like, everything the light touches will be yours. Don't go into the dark though. You heard something from here, didn't you? Kinich, what is the meaning of this? Only one way to awaken you all from your willful blindness. More sacrifices must be made. You'll die if you Ooh, try who to is that? Over. Okay. Why don't you just give up? What is you the voice though? I won't give up. I should have died five years ago. Take me as your next sacrifice. What the heck is going on? Natlan is on the verge of destruction. It's Alvika, there she is, baby. In a year before total devastation. Finally, some lava. That's what I wanted to see. There's no coming back. There's Chaska, Malani. Okay. Why I find him? Why? Every great display of power comes at a price. We'll never make it. That is the tragedy of your short lives. I think that's Capitano right there. Shall unite the tribes and save Natland from its impending doom. What use is the Gnosis in your hands? Oh my gosh, she's looking sick. But it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. Your plan has reached an end. Bro. And now it falls to me. Capitano is going to be freaking Cryo? People like us. Bro! Oh, she looks so sick. Okay. That looks sick. Bro, that's so sick. Bro, that trailer 
like at the end i think that the original part of the trailer the start was like whatever to me right but that ending of the trailer with malvika facing capitano that's sick but capitano being confirmed cryo is bonkers bro or loom deodorant dude i have already deodorant come on now i ain't one of those like you know smelly smash players bro come on <laughs> 各位旅行们大家好 uh,有我来在这个一年一度的这个大版本啊,就是和大家分享一些我们,呃,纳塔的,呃,事业观和角色相关的一些信息和情报。哎,欢迎我们的小朋友老的号和鸡哥来到我们的前站特别节目啊。
哎，我看到还有玩家问到啊，说那个前瞻彩蛋里面那个马拉尼彩的那个滑板，它到底是个道具啊，还是个技能？呃，其实我觉得就是硬<笑>硬要说的话，它其实其实是算技能、啊，但是我觉得呢，呃，就像刚才我说的一样，其实呃，这些新角色的行为模式是融入到它的方方面面的，啊、就是它作为一个技能来说，可能有点狭隘吧。然后第二条就是、呃，如果把它作为道具的话呢，感觉有点。他应该是伙伴才对、啊，对，应该是伙伴。这个我我感觉我已经我我已经感受到了啊。那么我们问完这个第一个 ，So is the shark not part of her actual kit？ 可以游刃有余啊。Was three nickel. Now I get it. This is the replacement for the 12 p.m. announcement thing when they when they print marketing. Oh, gotcha. 让我们来看第二段 VCR。はい、皆さんこんにちは。マグロヘッド。Bro, that shirt is so like that shirt's actually kind of sick. Ito, Kaya, Betty, and Tartaglia. That shirt looks actually really cool. あの力を借りて空を飛ぶことはできるんでしょうか。I can't not think of the office when I also think of parkour. Parkour. こうしてみたいです。By the way, I turned off the ads, everybody, so that way they don't automatically start. I feel, you know, I feel bad for that. My bad. This one, actually, I've seen before. It's called Jinxiao Yutou. Yeah, Jinxiao Jinxiao Yutou. Maguro Head. Maguro Head. Yeah, even the Cheetah Zhao Huan, he also likes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That actually, he also mentioned that the Long Tail Launcher is how to design it. Not gonna lie, these live streams always take a little bit. Like, um. 这个其实稍微有点剧透啊，因为因为可能透透透透透透，今天是干货。Yeah, spoil away, spoil away。其实就是包括这条飞行的龙在内啊，纳塔所有的呃玩家看到的这种不同形态的龙，他们各自都会有一套呃独特的探索机制。那这个探索机制呢，和刚才这个问题里面我们提及的，包括纳塔的角色，呃，他们之间也会有一些息息相关的设计点。大家肯定会有疑问说，哎，之前在视频里看到说，我们好像可以操作这些龙，嗯，这些探索。那到底是，呃，我们通过某种方式驯化了。Yes, we caught him in our Pokeball, bro. We caught him in our Pokeball. I, I have those three, and I got a Bidoof who knows all the HMs. Like that's, that's it. That's my HM slave, and everybody else can do whatever. 附身的这样的一个机制。Indwelling. 可以让呃旅行者在纳塔的领域区域内。呃，去通过附身的这样一个机制去呃获得这些龙的操作权。那不同的龙，当然它也会精通不同的呃。Oh, so you transform into them? 一些一些本领。对对对，我感觉这个意思说到我们。I feel as though like once the stamina runs out, you change back. 对，没错没错。那还是回归到刚才金枪鱼头提到的那个问题啊，就是我们会不会有呃飞行的可能？呃。我只能说，嗯，大家可以敬请期待，呃，纳塔后续的版本里面，我们给大家。Bro, just come on. You already, you kind of already shown it. 我我一定要抽一个。You already shown the flying, bro. Favorite fruit of all time, strawberries. One hundred percent. I love strawberries. And apples. Apples are delicious. And oranges. Yeah. I take oranges actually. Oranges are my favorite. Chat, let it, or people in the comments, let me. Know what's your favorite fruit? So, 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 so,
。那么我们接下来看这个第三题。那第三题呢，也是个特殊问题。我们来看 VCR。Okay. 这次又是哪位大佬 ？Tuanto. What's up, guys? I'm Tuanto, and I'm here to ask some questions for the Genshin team regarding 5.0. Pyro's the spotlighted element for the new update, specifically for Natlin. And I'm curious, how does Pyro have a significance in Natlin? Will Natlin be more accessible for newer players? In the Dang, game? it's because almost like Tuanto is a is one of Genshin's favorite creators, struggle to get which to makes the newer sense. Pieces of content that get added to the game. He's a big Honestly, creator. It is insane that we are at Natlin now. I want to give you guys all my luck because if I can't win the 50-50, I hope at the very least you can. Thanks, and I、Wanto. hope you find your own true meaning on your own journey in Genshin Impact. Wanto is a good guy. Okay, 感谢呃他的这个提问啊。那接着他的提问呢，我就简单说一说，就是火之国。那火在纳塔呢有。In the nation of of Pyro, fire has the unique practical. Yeah, okay, but the thing is that so far with the new characters, we have been able to confirm that only one of them is going to have a pyro vision so far, unless you unless there's one like in there. I think there's one that we haven't been able to confirm yet. But like, why is only one character from the lineup gonna be a pyro unit, and that pyro unit is going to be the archon? Like, what is going on? What even, bro? Imagine Tectone. Tectone will not be in a in a in a Genshin Impact live stream. They will not take a question from Tectone. You want to know why? Because he's blacklisted. If Power World can get away from Pokemon Team, we can get by too. One hundred percent. I mean, it's not it's not directly like ripping off from them. But oh boy. I mean, again, like the areas look really, really nice. We always know that Nata is being called the land of the war. So, what is the meaning of the war? The reason why Nata is a war of war is because Nata has been faced with many difficulties in the past. So, to protect our homeland, we have mentioned that Nata's people and Nata's land are together fighting to defend Nata's empire and to protect Nata's power. So, in a war of war, Nata has been faced with many difficulties in the past. So, to protect our homeland, That他们在这种战斗中，战争中留下的英雄事迹呢，就被记录下来，在黑曜石上刻写成为古名。古名也是我们纳塔的一个比较呃核心的一个人文概念。然后以此将英雄们的事迹和呃精神传承下去。那么
very much in contrast to like uh, Fiorina's faking of, uh, of um, uh, confidence, you know what I mean? Jiao Q trailer just dropped. Oh my goodness, that means we're probably gonna record a reaction. He always wears a helmet. I wonder if we. Like, what the heck? Oh, so, wait, resurrection. 他们是有机会去去那场战争彻底的终结那至于是怎样的一个重燃的这个机制不要卖一个关子因为这个就是我们可能纳塔的剧情你们一个很<笑> Bro, if they are talking about possibly bringing back Signora? I will lose it, bro. I, like, listen, for me, like, Signora was hot, but I just didn't care for her that much. But if, if you if you basically bring her back and retcon her dying by the Raiden Shogun, that's gonna be insane. That's gonna be so insane. Or whether he might suffer. Well, because he's a cryo unit. He's cryo. Oh, we're finally going to talk about the, new, the three characters that are coming out for uh, 5.0. Oh look, it's Maulani on a skateboard. And in real life, apparently. A balloon! A balloon, boys. She's adorable. I'll say that, she's adorable. She's really adorable. And then, is this gonna be Kinich? It's either gonna be Kinich or Kachina. Kachina, there we go. Guys, we're gonna be able to travel up walls. Let's go. Would you look at this? So much fun. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like, I think she looks cool. I want to see more of the actual abilities. I don't want to just see, like, that. Now it's the Kanich. Now it's Kanich. How are you going to get the kite, buddy? Tip it to. Oh, you're so close. Come on, buddy. You got to jump. <laughs> Okay, traveling with Kanich is going to be a lot of fun, it looks like. Okay. Then there's Ajax right there. Okay, okay. Hey, we got our first code! Okay, so what did we learn? Honestly, it was mainly about, like, the actual, um... The actual lore behind it, I guess. And I think that's pretty cool, but at the same time, though, like... These .0 streams are always kind of like this. It's going to take a little bit to get used to, so on and so forth. But I really wish that they would have told us, like, actual, um, like, actual stuff. You know what I mean? But I'm excited. Uh, we, we basically found out that Capitano is going to be a cryo unit. Uh, Malvika is going to be a great sword user. I think that's bomb. Uh, we need a really good pyro great sword user. So, to me, I think that's a wonderful, like, thing. I think that's going to be good, uh, especially since the only other two that we have for... Well, no, we have three. Gaming. We do have Gaming as a four-star, but we need a good five-star one. So, 
Uh, sorry, Dia. You're hot, but not that good, right? So, I think it's gonna be dope. I think it's gonna be dope. 女性的們,歡迎回來,那到這裡呢,節目組交給我的任務呢,已經圓滿完成了。啊,到這裡就結束了嗎?接下來我們就把現場交給項目組的同學們了,有兩位啊,為大家介紹5.08分的新角色和新
She's Catalyst. Okay. Uh, when Milani uses her elemental skill, she mounts her Sharky Surfboard to join the battle and uses Sharky Sharky's Bite to attack enemies by coming into contact with enemies. Milani can mark them and grant herself a special effect. When Sharky's Bite hits marked enemies, it deals more damage and fires Shark Missiles. In addition, riding on Sharky Surfboard allows Milani to move in the water with liquid uh, silicon and increase her movement speed and interrupt her resistance. That's actually kind of cool. Ooh, okay, the animations are really sick. So if you attack the marked enemies, do more damage, get more energy back. That's kind of cool. And it has its own stamina gauge. And her ultimate looks pretty cool, too. Makes a little rocket. Okay. She looks cool, and it looks like she's going to be really good for vaporize from what I'm seeing right there. So what's her what's her special mechanic? Uh, besides why, okay. So it's basically just another navigation scene. Oh, she's gonna be able to mark specialties. Okay. So two, so two specialty marker characters right out the gate. Even though you already have in the dev notes a new way of finding the specialties, so you really don't need the characters for that. You mentioned the concept. Okay. When you interact. She can also restore. Oh, okay, okay. So we got Kenich, okay. He's going to be a Dendro DPS for sure. I might consider summoning for him. He seems like he's going to be at least fun. Any members of the Scions of the Canopy Club extreme challenges? So he's going to be, that's why he goes through the air and does all the flippy stuff, right? That's, that's why he does that, right? He's got Ajax. So it's a dragon. It is act, like Ajax is confirmed the dragon. What if Ajax is actually Pyro and he's just the Pyro dragon? Or sorry, Ajaw. Not Ajax, Ajaw. My bad, my bad. What the fuck? <laughs> Chessy就是阿乔和金尼奇可以说是完全不一样的性格。阿乔的性格特别恶劣，而且大部分时间他都在和金尼奇斗嘴。那么这样的龙伙伴确实也会为金尼奇他自己招致的一些非议。那好像
。那这种设计呢，其实也是我们在纳塔决策身上所尝试的一种新机制。哦，我把这种机制和纳塔本土的一些呃世界观结合起来，呃，称之为夜魂加持。哦。那纳塔的角色会利用这种叫夜魂加持的状态，在战斗中,中充分呃发挥它的作用。这种能力，我就接过话茬，是通过我们这位称为一种叫做“燃素刻录”的仪式来激发的。借助这种古老的仪式啊，在纳塔地区神之眼的持有者，不仅可以与部族的大灵和地脉进行沟通，还能通过这个仪式强化自己的实力。So is this going to be an extra new mechanic？ 然后是什么部族的监监视者，或者像部族的一个啊图腾和信仰这样的？哦，原来如此。那也就是说，有了夜魂加持这种行星。呃，概念的加入会导致纳塔会有一些完全不一样的体验。对，那我们作为设计者呢，其实也对这些体验做了一些便利性的设计。那我们从五点零开始，重新制作了一部分且是伸手的活动场地。嗯哼，那大家可以看到，就是伸手的场地会变成一个完全是纳塔风格的。They change. They change. Okay. That, 旅行者们就可以在这样的一个区域里面很方便的去测试角色的各项能力，进行更深度的游玩和体验。That's cool. Good job. Make make the test runs more interactive. That's that's a fantastic change. It's like it's cool. You could go in there and like go over the abilities and stuff. But it's like. 对这个能力，那么在纳塔，它是不是也能够很顺利的去接触到火元素的能力，并且也和这些角色一样，呃，有夜魂加持的效果呢？哎，提到这个就要提前和大家说明一下了。那么这次旅行者来到纳塔和七仙神像进行初次共鸣的时候呢，由于某种不知名的原因，旅行者并不能立刻唤醒火焰。Oh yeah, we're also getting pyro traveler. 其实涉及到了我们现在纳塔面临到的一些种种的危机。那等旅行者们在纳塔的旅程进一步深入的时候，就能够得到详细的解答了。我相信啊。So we will soon be able to go pyro. 还有一些纳塔的角色，因为之前我们有过呃以凡聊著名的这样的一个视频。对，比如说啊，我们还有更早期的呃一个卫星角色，就是足迹当中的对对对，就是足迹 PV 里已经露面的伊安山。Yeah, Yonsen. 我有印象的还有。Yonsen is the one that we're waiting to see what element that they're going to be, which we'll be able to see once 5.0 happens and we go through the story. 那么我们先说，呃，查斯卡嘛，他是一位来自巴比伦的超级超级人。Look at her, she got the elf ears and everything. God damn those eyes, though. She's going to be Animo from what I'm saying. Anniversary is near. Yes, anniversary is near. Okay, so there's the Onsen. Any way that we can see their vision? Nope, we didn't get to see their vision unless I missed it. 那其实刚才在问答环节中啊，大家其实也反复提及的就是火神，还有还有愚人中的第一席队长，就实力最强劲的这一位。他们他们都会在魔神任务中登场吗？对，也请期待就我们的队长和火神这两位强者对强者之间，他们会擦出怎样的火花吧？ That's gonna be such a sick fight, dude. 中出现的角色，就比如说来自我们回声之子的希诺宁，来自烟迷主的希特拉利，还有洛伦等等，他也会在后续的版本中陆续与各位旅行者们见面。那么在介绍完角色之后呢，就接下来拜托我们基哥揭晓一下。Let's see who's rerunning. <laughs> Let's see who's rerunning. What kind of event wishes are we going to see? I'll give you guys a little bit of the event wishes. Let's see who's rerunning. What kind of event wishes are we going to see? Let's see who's rerunning. What kind of event wishes are we going to see? Let's see who's rerunning. What kind of event wishes are we going to see? Let's see who's rerunning. What kind of event wishes are we going to see? Let's see who's rerunning. What kind of event wishes are we going to see? Let's see who's rerunning. What kind of event wishes are we going to see? Let's see who's rerunning. What kind of event wishes are we going to see? Let's see who's rerunning. What kind of event wishes are we going to see? Let's see who's rerunning. What kind of event wishes are we going to see? Let's see who's rerunning. What kind of event wishes are we going And Kachina is going to be part of the first one. Okay. Oh my God, that weapon is adorable. We got new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look fucking sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Actually, we got some new weapons. Okay. Those weapons look sick. Okay. That's a good change. That's a good event right there. I dig it. I dig it. New artifacts. Okay, we're gonna have to look into those. But those artifacts look sick. Dude, that first set looks so cool. I mean, both of them look cool. I wonder what they're going to do. 
。那我一口气讲了这么多，应该没有漏掉什么吧？我觉得。<笑>那就是我们的新角色，然后我们的新武器还有圣遗物的部分也就呃到此为止告一段落了。嗯，没错。那么我也圆满完成了今天的任务。好，那我也要、啊、追随大伟哥。我的，所所所以说大伟哥今天台上就只剩我一个人了吗？你可以自己想办法呀。好，我自己想办法吧。好好好，那那我就先不说了，我待会去邀请一下我的小伙伴们，然后来现场来撑撑面子。<笑>嗯，行，那请大家拭目以待。What is going on? This will be your first time in Natland. I mean, yes, it would be your first time. Natland's a little different from other nations. Because we live in separate tribes rather than having one main city. So there are seven tribes in total. Oh, it's six tribes. Never mind. So it's six tribes, and then the main flag has to be, or the main banner has to be like uh, Malvika. I come from the children of Echoes. We're known for our mining skills. The Capitals are our friends and co-workers too. They help us find the prettiest ores and gems. <laughs> and that means my tribe has all the best jewelers. When we find a really special gemstone, we use it to decorate our weapons or jewelry. Okay. Also, if you have time, you should come watch one of our dance halls. Dude, they break dance. Probably better than that lady from Australia. Free is free, no complaining. 100%. Alongside the Kaholosaurus. So they're gonna they're like dinosaurs. They really are dinosaurs. Okay. Not Pokemon. Dinosaurs. We catch the dinosaurs. Got lost in the music for a sec. The people of my tribe love getting together to go fishing, listen to music, and relax. Beyond that, our favorite thing is bathing in the hot springs. Yes, we get hot springs? Hell yeah. I'm down. I love hot springs. I've never been to one in real life, but I really, really want to be one. Be in one. Why not? A lot of places in Natland are covered in lava. If you plan to go exploring, I recommend picking a guide from my tribe. For deliveries, look no further than the scions of the canopy. Mm-hmm. We've got a lot of messengers. Everything from letters. Okay, so they're the post office. Being quick on our feet is one of our strengths. Boys and girls, we got the post office, baby. There's also hunters who take on a wide range of commissions. Ha! Look, those idiots have a bigger death wish than you. Extreme sports are popular in my tribe. Don't worry, the Yunkasaurs will protect them. This region is inhospitable. Young people from my tribe come here because they like a challenge. Next up, there's. Wait, wait, wait! Look, the competition's starting. <sighs> Next time, then. <sighs> Who's gonna come out on top this time? I can't wait. So we're only gonna find out about the three tribes first, and then we'll find out about the other three later on. All right. Next, Cody. All right. So we did learn some good stuff from that one. Um, I'm surprised Raiden Shogun and Kazuha are getting a rerun. Um, I would think that they might do, um, some Fontaine reruns, but I guess not. I, hey, I, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. But, um, yeah. So, Milani looks really cool. Um, Kachina's good. Kanich looks good. The only thing that I don't like about all three of them is that they're both specialty item finders, right? I think that's a terrible move, especially now that we got this new... Uh, dev notes thing where you could actually pinpoint where the specialty items are and it tells you how many are there Like that is way more advanced than having characters be uh, Specialty finders. I think that I, I just don't understand that. I don't understand what they were thinking with that That just seems like an absolute miss, but it is what it is, right? Hey, hey. hey. Give me one of them hoodies, bro. Aquaria, give me one. Give me one of them hoodies, bro. Hey, say it again. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. The episode is starting. Sure, it's fun. I had such a good day. Wait, uh, I'm Ji Feng Long. Oh, no, I'm Yang. Okay, never mind. I thought I recognized him for a second. Why he had a blushy face, bro? Oh my goodness, man! What the hell? 
我是原神的关卡设计师。小布，很荣幸呢。小布，我的介绍一下，呃，娜塔的场景和关卡设计里。So we're gonna be going over all the scenery. 那今天啊，我们请到小巴，还有呃，老杨。Already at forty-five minutes into the stream. Or forty-five minutes into this, into this particular stream. 猿和龙共生的国度。那刚才其实我们在呃之前的介绍里也有谈到说，哎，娜塔的地貌环境啊，其实也跟其他的国家非常的不一样。哎，是的，我其实也在网上看到很多这样的评论。对于我们开发者来讲呢，娜塔也是一个非常具有特色的国度。I am not looking forward to the multi-layers. That's going to be a pain in the butt. But I'm going to do my best this time to keep up with actually getting everything done right out the gate, right? As soon as I get like, yeah. Uh, the the. Uh, this should I want to get all the uh 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 pyroculi right out the gate. I'll be the main thing that I focus on, right? 没错，那上一趴我也有说到啊，就是呃，旅行者可以通过一种附身的方式来附到娜塔的龙类身上，从而进行一些复杂的探索的行为。那接下来我就替老杨来介绍一下这位非常可爱的小伙伴吧。哦，他也有什么来头吗？呃，旅行者们在娜塔探险的时候呢，就会遇到这个特别的小动物。Dude, he's in a Pokeball. That's a triangle. 我们称他为小家伙吧。I just want to know if we can become the pyro archon, or if we gotta wait like two updates when we get when we actually befriend Mavika, right? 那我知道，就是，呃，刚才你也有谈到，那他有非常多的部落的特色。那其实今天也很难得，我们有三个小龙人在场，对吧？不如这次我们就眼见为实，带着玩家去逛一圈。好呀，可以啊，来来来。This guy stole my son. I must have made me go to headquarters and steal my son back, dude. I want one of those plushies, man. The plushies look sick. Oh, oh, those are those are our Pokeballs. The rocks, the rocks and gemstones, bro. Is this is this what we catch the Pokemon with? It's like it's like is this a Pokeball? <laughs> Those gemstones do look very pretty. I mean, obviously, I think they're fake ones, but. I'll help Lao Yang add a little bit. In the Return of the Dead, there are many because of the mining and discovery of unique objects. For example, this huge area has a lot of triangle spike thingy. What? Oh wait. Oh, those bones look so like. Okay, okay, so I'm a sucker for like, you know, extinct animal bones like looking really cool with the environment. I think that looks sick. That looks sick in general. I love that. Our friends, the Jifeng Long, should be very good at this field. Dude, we get to walk around as a big boy. We get to walk around as a big boy. Oh, that's so dope. And we can jump at the walls and stuff. Oh. Please don't tell me that that's gonna how be how we hundred percent the areas, and that we're gonna have to dig for chests and stuff like that. Is this a po <laughs> pocket capsule? Exactly. <laughs> 这里呢，就是我的老家，西欧龙部族，流泉之中。就咱部落的人呢，是大多是。This is gonna be my area. I love music. I actually used to like do like the like box drumming type stuff before. 然后，甚至有那么一点迟钝的样子。虽然我们部族的人呢，经常看起来是这么一副安逸的样子，但当遇到真正的战斗以及比赛的时候。也都是一把好手。值得一提的是呢，咱部族的人也是纳塔少数的能够在液态燃素区域上活动的人。啊、液态燃素是不是就是那种？Dude, I want to adopt that 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 Durgo boy. I want to I want to adopt the drill boy. So it's lava, but it's not lava. That's what they're saying. It's lava, right? But it's not lava. It's it's liquid uh phlogiston. Phlogiston. Liquid phlogiston, right? That's what. It's not lava. It's not molten rock. It's liquid philanthropy. It's that's what it is. This is the Nietzsche Bible. It's the map. 
。哎，既然大家看到了聂龙部族这边有一个这么大的聂龙头像，那不如我们就从龙本身开始说起吧。啊哈，可以啊，看一下跟我们吉峰龙还有小巴他们骑游龙究竟有什么不同？没问题。那聂龙呢？哎，跟大家说，强大的能力，当然就是逆时的能力了。大家就看见啊，在聂龙的夹带当中，其实储存了一种特殊的叫做有果胶果胶的物质。那每当聂龙要去觅食的时候呢，就会释放夹带当中的火流果胶，用它凝聚成很多。Yo, be a 那在纳塔当然也会有一些富含燃素的果实。Dude, we we're Yoshi. That's all we are is we're Yoshi. Dude, we got a massive tongue. We're just a Yoshi, bro. That's one hot dude. We're just Yoshi. We're a green dinosaur that has a long tongue. We are Yoshi. They are blatantly going Pokemon and Mario in this update, bro. It's so blatant. 也会和他们的龙伙伴一样，在群山当中来回穿梭。所以呢，聂龙部族，也就是玄木人部族的成员，他们多半呀，也都成为了冒险家、呃运动员，或者说呃快递员这样的一些职业。就、呃、在聂龙部族旁边呢，也有这么一个遍布高耸悬崖的遗迹——祖云庙宇。和猎龙一起呢，旅行者说不定可以找到神秘的宝藏。Wow, that shows that you don't support my Discord, Jordan. Wow, that toxic, bro. Toxic. Toxic. Ain't no way Mario is gonna drop us into the other two for the extra jump, 100%. We are Mario. We wouldn't be dropped in the pit. We'd be dropping our Yoshi into the pit, bro. Giga, you have to take care of yourself. Ah, it's really like that. 那我觉得呀，这里面可有太多的新闻你不知道了，所以老杨，我们不如我们坐回去，就这件事情，我跟你们再好好说道说道。好，哎，老杨，就接着刚才那个聂龙的话题啊，嗯，我觉得我必须。We're still talking about the Yoshi's。虽然这是聂龙他。Oh, that's a dude. It's a big Yoshi. That's our new boss, Yoshi. 是聂龙当中非常古老的一只。Do we fight giant Yoshi? That's so sick. Okay. 那这一点确实，老杨刚才说的有道理啊，就是他确实贪吃，所以旅行者们呢，在跟他对战的过程中，可以找到一些对付他的弱点。I like that. That's a good. That's a good boss design. 对吧？我觉得鸡哥更像是在给自己辩解啊。那一定没有这个意思，一定没有。哎，对啊，哎，那我还不得不说一句啊，这个聂龙的 boss 长上去还是挺可爱的。Yeah, it is probably the cutest boss that we got. 可爱画风的龙嘛，就像我们三个一样。啊，那肯定不止。哦，就像我们之前在宣传短片中出现的，有一只会飞的大龙。这个龙呢，其实也是我们古典的版本里需要面对的一个敌人。哎，它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？它是怎么记得的？除了刚才老杨讲到的 ，Brother Man, we get capybaras. 和迥异的场景，比如说神秘的高难度的夜城试炼，还有巨大的间歇喷发的火山。未来呢，也会给旅行者们开放。这个大家可以。Rathalos, yeah, it's an actual Rathalos, dude. 每个国家推出的时候都会有一套叫声望系统的系统内容啊。那这一次在五点零的版本，我们对这个声望系统做了一次全新的尝试。那这一次呢，旅行者可以在各个部落的一个叫曜石图腾柱的地方。去接取对应部族的讨伐悬赏和务虚通告。哎，那这听上去不还是声望系统吗？杰哥，你别骗我们。<笑>对哦，好像说到这里，感觉它跟声望系统没有什么区别啊。但是呢，我还是说漏了一点，在之前的环节当中，我有提到一个叫部族祭文的概念。Okay. 那么在钥匙图腾柱这里，旅行者们还可以开启每个部族的部族祭文了。这个祭文呢，除了部族的传说和周边的部族的祭文之外，还有大家最关心的。纳塔的角色传说任务， okay. 也就是说，包含上述所有的内容在内，每一个部族都将陆续开放三个章节供玩家游玩。所以，我们纳塔的传说任务其实是换了一种新的形式出现的。So, 除了各种新闻以外呢， okay, I, 在五点零版本还有更多以单元剧形式出现的篇幅比较短的世界任务。
比方说刚才 ，Because I know they're I know they're taking away um. 那我们一口气介绍了这么多的 ，the reputation stuff like the bounties and the um the side quests, but I don't know. 数不点零版本的活动，好呀，呃，那就由我来为大家。Okay, we got new events. Let's go. 这次我们也为旅行者们准备了很多丰富多彩的活动，比如蜡塔探索的导览，还有前往铁瓦特这座塔的旅行回顾。Leila, I know we're close coming back. Dodoka bombastic. Okay. We're getting a new character. Okay. 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 这里我要替他说一句，我们也为旅行者准备了一些特殊的游玩的短片， I mean, 具体有多不一样，我们一起看一下就知道。好，那我们就看一下。Okay, let's take a look at these events. 这次呢，我们纳塔呢带来了很多全新的玩法。Dude, we got our boy. We got our boy. 体验一下，我就先带大家跑一段现实挑战。这个地方有一个龙陵，就是疾风龙部落的，然后我们可以魂附到这个龙陵上，就可以开始我们的挑战了。进去以后呢，开右扳机，你就钻到地下了。在这个过程里面呢，我们需要借助我们这个特点， okay, how you can move faster, bro. 去尽可能多的吃到金币。Oh, and then you. Sh- That's gonna. That's gonna be kind of cool, I guess. 这就是个错误示范。<笑>这个地方呢，又要切回我们地方了吗 ？I guess that's gonna be cool in that in that regard. Oh. That you're gonna be able to do the different monsters or different dinosaurs. S rank. So that's gonna be cool. I think that's a cool event to showcase the new like stuff. No, you missed the stamina thingy, you dork. Where are you going? Why did you go that way? What are you doing? 先告一段落，立刻进入比赛，怎么样？来了，实战环节。咱们两组队互相比一下，挑战用时和挑战得分。漏了。You missed some coins, bro. 感觉我们有戏。然后上去，攻击，是不是漏了一个？那你要相信我，你转头看看呗。你漏不了。哦。哎。Hey, you dude, actually, bro. Like, ready? Come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you're throwing, brother man. Where are you going? Don't jump off the edge, you dork. Dude, you're such a weenie, a general. Dude, these guys don't know how to play the game. These guys don't know how to play the game. These guys don't know how to play. Bro, weak. I'm gonna be the best at this event already. I don't even need to play to know that. Yeah. You missed one. <laughs> to me, I'm looking at this and I'm like, bro, they're either faking it, they're gonna get S, yeah. The first team was either faking it for the content or, um, They really are that bad. Then we will give the participants a ticket. At that time, we will all go to the NATA to experience the new ways. Let's go. Participants, welcome back. Wow, I finally got out of the Nye Long mode. Sitting next to me is my old friend, the owner of the Korean Asian Market Manager, Michael. Hello, 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 Michael. 是哎，那说起周年庆，那就必须带。Wait, what? We're talking about the anniversary already? 这次五点零版本期间呢，通过周年庆的签到活动，我们会有十枚精神之源。OK, we're gonna get a little dragon boy. We're getting some fragile. OK, boombox. 其中还包含一个全新的跟宠和一个有趣的炸弹玩具。Wow. OK, so we're starting anniversary quite early. Okay, so we're starting anniversary 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 early. Okay, so we're starting 那接下来让我来介绍一下。等等等等等等等，啊，那福利的环节为什么就到这里了？我们每年的福利不是。Oh, they're gonna give out some more stuff. Let's go. 难道大伟哥没有跟你讲过吗？啊，他他跟我讲什么了
那么这个你见过吗？这什么？啊、这么厚吗？ Michael， 你真不知道吗？真不知道，别慌，别慌，别慌。那我们就带入 Michael 的视角，我们和旅行者们一起来一条一条分享一下我们这个版本、oh. 呃、做出的福利以及相关优惠。I thought we were going to get more rewards. 在五零版本期间，旅行者们只要完成魔神任务，连续去除，也就是我们五点零的主线， okay. 就可以在活动界面直接领取。I thought we were going to get some more anniversary rewards. 刚刚说到的是完成主线就有更多的原石吗？没错啊，那。还有提到一点是五点零版本期间才用，那是只有五点零才用吗？哎，那可不是了，在接下来的五点零、五点一和五点三版本，也就是我们的主线重要篇章发布的这些版本。OK， so five point two， we're not getting a massive thing。也就是有更多的额外的五百元石哦。OK， 嗯，我感觉还是有一些吸引力哦。我刚才有讲到魔神任务啊，那接下来我当然要去讲一讲传说任务了。Story quest， OK， 后续的新角色。无论他们是以不足祭文，还是以传说任务的形式，呃，出现他们的故事的时候，只要玩家在当前的版本进行了这些任务的体验，就可以获得额外的。So basically, complete your stuff as soon as the update drops, and you'll get free free mods. 以及还有对应角色突破等级二和突破等级三所需要的所有培养材料哦。我们就拿五点零版本的马拉尼来举例子。呃，首先我们会有显示身手的活动，马拉尼可以突破到突破等级一，对不对？嗯。然后，因为马拉尼有不足祭文任务， What? 也就是说，接下来他会陆续获得突破等级二和突破等级三的所有材料。嗯、okay, so okay. so okay. okay. ，也就是说，玩家几乎不用付出任何的额外。Okay, so they're giving more rewards for the testing.、嗯、Good job. There we go. That's actually a great idea. That is a good optimization. Thank you. 让玩家第一次接触到新角色的时候，呃，就是能铺平很多原先遇到的阻碍。但是，对于新加入的这些旅行者，他们好像不能立刻感到纳塔。对于他们。有什么样的安排？那 Michael， 你的意思是说，假如我是一个初来乍到的旅行者，对的，我没有办法第一时间体会到这些任务，那我就拿不到对应的原始奖励了。是的，是的。这一点我们当然也都考虑到了。所以在后面呢，我们也开放了一个新的功能，是主线快速开启功能。在五点零版本更新以后，只要完成了里约主线任务，并且达到了冒险等级二十八级，就可以直接在活动界面开启纳塔的主线剧情了。那太好了。Wow. Okay. So you basically can just skip over a majority of the story just to get to Nat Natland, and then experience the rest of it later. 就是快速开启的这个功能，在后续版本也会陆续开启。那让我再追问一下吧。之前忙碌在外的一些旅行者，或许会返回到提瓦特大陆再看一看。那对于我们这些回归的老朋友，是不是也应该有些表示 ？So we're gonna have a return bonus thing, OK？ 原神原先的版本里面有一个针对回归玩家的活动，叫新之归还。对，那么在五点零版本呢，我们对新之归还的奖励也做了一定的调整。除了原本的原始奖励以外 ，So great, the people who are returning are going to get a full multi. 这些旅行者呢还会额外在新之归还中获取资资源、纠缠资源、实抽啊，对。Just get the normal uh, uh, anniversary stuff. 和游戏内的指引，等等。那新玩家跟老朋友都照顾到了，没错。那像我这种一直坚守在提瓦特旅程一线的旅行者，我们也提了很多的优化意见跟呃想法。那有没有针对 ？Yeah, what about us who have been playing consistently? 我们一直在强调，其实原神的开发组啊，一直在持续的关注和倾听玩家的反馈。Do you? 那么接下来，我还有更多的调整和优化。就是针对玩家的反馈所做出的，在五点零版本更新以后呢，只要旅行者们点击背包当中对应区域特产的野外采集选项，嗯，我不知道大家有没有注意过啊，就是区域特产一直有一个呃只可观看不可点击的野外没错采集地点推荐，没错，对。那么现在呢，只要你点击了这个选项，它就会在 OK， so it does work for the Netlands s p e c i a l t y too. 区域特产的采集地点了。不仅如此。Not only that, but you can use the feature to monitor the quantity. And, okay. So there's okay. So it actually does show you the amount that are there. Oh, that's too comfortable. 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 That's too com
在五点零版本更新以后呢。Drop rates did increase for certain monsters. So these are just the stuff that we saw in the demo. So for returning player or not returning players, but players who have been consistent, we just got what was in the demo. So if you left Genshin, it's better for you to wait and then come back at five point zero because then you'll actually get all this. Cool stuff, all together. World level nine in the open world, okay. My wonder if world level nine will be too challenging. Up for the boat, for these powerful travelers, they can easily tackle the content of world level nine. Which is good. That's what we need. Wait,等等，让我捋一捋，那就是说刚刚。世界等级提升后的这个增加材料的掉落，以及包括整体的这个怪物掉落的这个内容的增加，两个效果是可以叠加的吗？没错，这两个效果是完美叠加的。所以 Michael， 你的理解能力很强啊！哇哇哇哇！真那那那。And we don't have to go to level one hundred, which I was in fear of. I was absolutely in fear that they would increase our level to one hundred. 我还有一些痛点，就我必须要今天就替玩家去说，剩一物。我也一直觉得呃应该优化的，那你们有安排吗？啊，那当然了，那当然了。Yeah, they're adding more. They're adding eight new artifact sets into the strong box. 呃，吐槽两个点啊，就是第一个点叫圣遗物转狗粮，嗯，第二个点叫呃一个极品圣遗物的胚子，嗯嗯。我们先说呃圣遗物分解的事情啊，旅行者们在分解圣遗物之前不是只能分解出摩拉吗？那么这次啊，我们分解圣遗物之后，可以将它转化为圣遗物的经验素材。Oh my God! Thank you. That is actually freaking huge. Oh my God! Now all the artifacts that I've been saving can just be turned into that. Oh my God! Thank you. I don't want any more more. I've got like 160 million more. Thank you. 好，那刚才 Michael 其实提了一个很重要的问题啊，就是他呃，如果到了关键的时候，却又没有办法为后续的角色获取对应的圣遗物，呃，就会感觉自己很矛盾，对不对？对的。嗯。那么除了圣遗物转化为呃培养材料以外呢，我们还推推出了第二个很重磅的功能，叫做铸圣之霜。Thank you. 铸圣之霜。这个名字听起来有点厉害。这个名字听起来很厉害，它的功能其实更厉害。旅行者们可以通过使用铸圣之霜来兑换指定词条的圣遗物。指定词条吗？没错，这个指定词条不仅能够指定主词条的属性种类，还可以额外指定两个副词条的属性。副词条也能？没错。那我的双。What？ 对。跟你想的一样，五点零版本的铸圣之窗呢，大家可以通过萃取一定数量已经升级的圣遗物，或者探索纳卡大世界，或者解锁我们的珍珠进行达到极限的奖励。Oh my god, they're gonna make oh！ 刚才我们是不是有提到周年庆的邮件奖励啊？对，所以在周年庆的邮件奖励当中，我们的铸圣之窗，大家使用周年庆的邮件居然有这么好的东西，没错。So basically, you can pick your main stat and two minor stats. That makes it so much easier for grinding. Oh my god! Oh my god! That is so huge. That is so huge. Okay, battle pass rewards will be adjusted. 在进行开始的时候，旅行者们就可以从这四种养成资源中任选其中三种作为本次进行可获取的奖励。Okay. 也就是说，你可以通过自己的需求来查漏补缺了。嗯。此外呢，如果旅行者解锁珍珠进行或者珍珠之歌，并且在达到一定等级之后，我们原本指定国家的角色天赋培养素材。会变成能够让旅行者自由选择任意国家的。You can choose the books you want from the battle pass, and you're not limited. 真的是原神吗 ？Oh my god! 我们的旅行者为了去提升我们队伍的体力上限，嗯，他必须得把蒙德和黎月的齐天神像供奉至满级，对不对？啊哈，你觉得这个问题该不该解决？对啊，不然。玩家直接到了纳塔，或者说体验其他的国度，他就
，体力值就没有办法涨了。没错，所以既然我们做了主线快速开启，那么一定要把相关的所有的细节都优化到底。嗯，从五点零版本更新开始，旅行者们就可以通过供奉任意区域的青年神像来增加自己的体力值上限。Okay, so that's just for anybody. That's just for anybody. If you already max on stamina, that's whatever. 纳塔的地灵龛，还有类似像枫丹陆景泉这样的纳塔独有的供奉系统。也将会提供更多的原始奖励。So、they'll give more 我帮大家算了一下，上述这些原始奖励加起来的总和有超过十枚纠缠之源的价值哦，居然又多了十抽。没错，哇，我感觉。So we're getting another ten poles. 有点动力要去探索大世界了。嗯嗯，呃，结束了吧？你希不希望？你希不希望这个孤立结束 ？Bro, already like five point zero is looking really cute. 那当然是。你还给我留？我还留有后。What? Okay, more. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see if catch is cooking. 高潮啊，都要留到后面的。所以到迄今为止，我都还没有说到。The most heavyweight. How is that possible? 大伟哥。How is that? How did we not get the most heavyweight stuff? What do you mean? So this time I won't arrange the order. Really? Okay, so we got a couple. It's like three. There's three major announcements from what they're saying. So I'll first take this one. You take this one, right? Sure. Sure. Okay. Good. Hmm. Just now, we had a friend who said that he hoped he could get the most heavyweight stuff. 呃，不好的运气都转到他身上，对吧？我们也很佩服这位呃旅行者的勇气。但是接下来我要公布的这一项福利，可以些微的分担一下这位旅行者的负担。Michael， 你想不想替各位旅行者先体验一下？那我就替各位旅行者先验一验货了啊！好，那么麻烦我们的工作人员。我是哥，谢谢。好 ，Michael， 试试看。嗯。哎。这个特效怎么跟之前的不一样了呀？不会是我欧皇附体了吧？这其实是我们在五点零版本的角色活动起源当中新加入的一个事件，叫做捕获明光。捕获明光，这是什么东西、啊？我给你们解释一下，也就是当玩家呀、啊、常说的小宝底到来的时候，有概率会遇到捕获明光事件。当这次事件出现的时候呢，抽取的结果必定为当期的。So that tells you if you've won your fifty-fifty already. 我比较好奇啊，这个事件会挤占以前的大小保底的概率吗？哎，知道你就会这么问。我相信旅行者们也非常关心这样一个问题。那么捕获明光，它关键的关键在，它只是单纯提高了小保底抽中当期 up 的机会，并不会影响这个游戏其他所有的概率规则。OK。也就是说，你简单理解为我们抽中当期 up 的。So if you get that, you have a higher chance of pulling it. It doesn't mean that you're guaranteed. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to understand that. I really, really want to like understand that more. So does that mean that the probability of pulling the promotional five star is going to get bumped up? Does that mean it's going to be a seventy-five twenty-five? Dude, that'd be sick. Oh, that's the least major. 武器神助复兴祈愿。好，我点出去看看。记得先定轨哦。哎，不对吧？这个定轨的数字好像。Okay, we're reducing it to one now. 变成了一呀。So if you lose the 50-50, you're get you're guaranteed to get it in the next summon. Bravo! Bravo! That should have been done a long time ago. I think that two fates was stupid anyway. Good job. That's a great change right there. That's a great change. Yeah, it's like getting a Super Vegito animation. Yeah, yeah. This time, the five star expansion ceiling, we really just lowered it from two to one. Thank God, man. That was so stupid. That was so stupid to have it too. The most, even more explosive piece of news. 对吧？那这次我们确实是真诚的，想给大家再送上一次非常劲爆的福利。OK， let's see this。没错，那么在今天呢，我在这里去公布我们这一次五点零前瞻节目的最后一条福利投放的消息， okay, benefit, this. 也就是从今年开始，每年《原神》的周年庆版本期间，我们都会向已经解锁了祈愿系统的所有旅行者。
Finally! Every anniversary, we're getting a free five star, baby! It's happening! Every year a free five star. <laughs> Bravo! It only took Wuwa coming out for you to do this. And it really just took Wuwa to be announced and released for you to do this. Wait. What does that mean? Oh, what are the new ones that are going to be going in there? I, I, they needed to do that. Bravo, Getchen. Bravo. You finally did something. You're rewarding your players. That already makes the anniversary reward so much better. Even though we're the developers of Getchen, we're also players. So then why didn't you do this earlier? Oh, I know why. Because... You didn't have competition. Yeah. It only took you four years to do this. You're going to be a DMA? Let's go, dude. We need somebody to be it. Lishinsaman能够说会一些简单的快乐 yeah, you made a bunch of mistakes and it seems like you're actually taking this seriously after competition came out, which is great. Competition breeds better rewards for everyone. Oh wait, what's this? Is this just an animation trailer? Okay. This is a very different animation style. Where are they going with this? Or is this just a regular trailer? Kachina, there we go. That's a cool shot, actually. We're getting short, girl! There we go! I want to know where this is going. Where's this animation style going? Like, this just seems like a random trailer to end it all off. You're gonna face the giant Yoshi. Blaze to Natland. Genshin Impact. We got the final code right here. God! Wow! There is a lot, and I, I really, like, I've been on my kick of like, Genshin could never, but in all honesty, y'all, I don't think I could say that anymore. I really don't think I could say that anymore. This is, wow. I, um, I really wasn't expecting that. So we're getting this, we're getting a system of actually being able to pick our main set and two substats or an artifact, which is really cool. It's going to be, you know, I, I wonder if there's going to be more like more ways of getting it outside of just the battle pass uh free five star for anniversaries now or every 0.0 update which is fantastic that should have happened a long time ago uh a lot of re returning player rewards it man i am actually very happy with this live stream i'm very happy with it
。那在之前的版本中呀，我们放出了一个常驻玩法——幻想真进剧。Okay, we're getting imaginary in theater news now. Okay. 也收到了大量的玩家反馈。我们非常关注玩家对这些内容的建议，并且啊，有很多玩家的建议其实给了我们迭代的灵感。嗯，所以我们从四点八开始就一直在对这个玩法进行调整。那那在接下来即将更新的五点零版本当中呢，我们全量重新设计了玩法当中的几项描述意义事件。那在更新的版本当中呢，这些这些事件将根据当期的三元素所对应的反应体系进行有效、清晰的策略引导。简单来讲，就是你拿到这个注意的时候就已经。知道他应该给什么样的队伍使用了。See, for me, like I didn't really care about the buffs too much. I was more focused on getting characters during these, right? I think I'm gonna really like uh, Kenich's movements, right? And it looks like Kenich might be a part of a, a, a pyro team of some sort. A little bit. So they're gonna focus more on elemental combinations, which. 会了。那如果你们设置了这么强大的体系增益之后，会不会导致这些玩法越发的没有挑战性？所以在五点零版本呢，我们对于追求更高难度的挑战者也会开始新的超越模式。超越模式当中所对应的奖励内容也会增加。所以也希望玩家能够持续的对我们后续推出的玩法不断的提出建议。我们会及时的收集，并设法不断的完善这些游戏的。So what are the rewards like outside of that? Oh God, genius invocation, get out of here. 还有我们的新圣召唤卡牌当中，那新的角色卡、新的怪物卡以及行动牌。也会等待大家收集，还会有新的纳塔牌位等待大家获取哦。另外还有联动活动要跟大家分享，紫福双印原定在遇，原神与逻辑的手势联动即将到来哦。逻辑吗？没错。That mean they're doing a new chair. 在九月的逻辑 Play 发布会上与大家正式见面。OK。逻辑的社媒平台啊，也即将公布联名产品信息。So we're getting Logitech, Genshin Impact stuff. That's cool. We already have Razer stuff as well. So I thought they were actually going to make a collab in the game. I thought they were going to announce a collab. That was going to be crazy. I honestly like got scared for a second. I thought they were going to do a collab. I honestly thought we were going to get a get freaking collaboration of some sort. After the whole HSR Fates Day night, I thought we were going to get something like that. I was like, bro, there ain't no way. Oh, are we actually just going to watch like a whole sympathy? Sym symphony? They're actually gonna get choirs? Let's go, dude. I'm a big choir person. Bro, there's gonna be there's so much news, man. It sounds this sounds really good. Yeah, say what you will. Genshin Apex music is always really, really good. Bro, this stream has gone on for an hour and a half, just about. It's gonna end at an hour and a half, but. So yeah, the Genshin music is really sick. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Yo, what up, old Ultra? How you doing? How you doing? Dude, this stream has been absolutely insane. We're finally getting a free five star every year now. They have announced we're getting a free five star every single year. We're getting artifact for like main stat, sub stat pickers, and all that stuff. Like, there's so much. There's so much. So much stuff coming out. Genshin 
finally, with competition, has finally realized that they need to step their game up. This is why Wuwa needed to be here. This is exactly why Wuwa needed to be here. Because it made other games better. Very nice. Very, uh, very soothing to the ears. Crescendo, baby! There we go! Like, the music's really beautiful, but I'm wondering, like, because they still got four minutes. Or at least, I think, four minutes. Unless they have, like, a half hour's worth of, like, crazy stuff they're going to be up or updating us with. Because, my God, I know why now they saved a lot of their dev notes for this stream. Because, my God. Gorgeous. Oh, are they just gonna literally just like play music for the last bit of it? Banjo! Apparently it's two hours long? God. Is it just because of the concert and everything? This is already insane. There's so much to cover now. There's just so much to cover. Four years later, they, like Ziox actually posted, like four years later, they're actually giving us a five star. <laughs> Ziox, oh my God, brother man. That is so funny, bro. <laughs> oh, man. It's just so funny that that's like the big thing right now. It was like, what the heck? The Sanctifying Elixir is going to be uh, what gives us like a, um, the, uh, the, the main stat and the minor stats as well. It's super sick. I just wonder how many we're gonna get in a battle pass, right? And I'm surprised they even talked about the anniversary. I didn't think that they were actually going to talk about the anniversary today. Oh. We just gotta find the next broken unit. I think I'm gonna save mine 
for when Malvika comes out and then make her as strong as humanly possible. With all these changes, like, Genshin's making me really just go, you know what, I might just start, like, summoning for characters again. God. I was like, until ch things change, Genshin Impact's taking me off. They take a step back, and now they reel me back in, baby. Uh, if it's paid, I'm gonna be sad. I think what it's going to be is that you could get double the amount of sa of the sanctifying elixirs if you buy the battle pass, but if you don't, you just get the normal amount. You know. Oh, we already confirmed that um, uh, Malvika is actually going to be a great sword user. And then Capitano is Cryo, which I think is pretty cool. I didn't know if that was confirmed or not beforehand, but... All right, we now have hit the hour and a half mark, just about. There is so much news to cover from this, holy crap. I'm really gonna have to script out my freaking uh, my video in regards to like uh, the um, the covering everything because like my word, this is gonna be insane. I have so many thoughts. I have so many thoughts about all of this, bro. It's super insane to me. His sword was regular, and then he turned it cryo. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, the way is back. I felt pretty stressed, actually. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, 就是在到七八本上线的那一年也是我们这个进化之路上的其中一小步 那还有一些呢，可能他们对旅行者是陌生的，对于提瓦特的众人也是陌生的。但是这些人和世界的命运之间也是息息相关的。那旅行者前往寻找自己血亲的这个旅途，实际上也会和这个世界之间的联系，因
我们去了很多我们从来没有去过的城市，比如湖北襄阳啊，啊，比如巴西圣保罗啊，在跟全球各地的旅行者面对面的时候啊，每一位旅行者都非常激动地跟我们分享他们的提瓦特旅行。You didn't talk to me, do I? 有的还在每天体验原神，有的呢，只是新版本更新，上来体验一下。I do my dailies. 已经很久没有来过提瓦特，跟他们聊完呢，制作组和我重新理解了旅行的意义啊。我们的脑子里啊，想起了那句啊，我们终将重逢啊。我们意识到啊，只有对旅行者的陪伴，是原神唯一不能改变的，其他一切皆可改变啊。也正是因为有了各位旅行者啊，我们才有机会在未来带来更多精彩优质的内容。最后呢，我们将在八月二十八日，迎来全新的五点零版本《火之国纳塔》。那这片炙热而神秘的土地啊 ！Now where is our Genshin Impact anime? Dang it! 前去探索，感谢大家一直以来的支持与陪伴，愿你们的纳塔之旅充满惊喜与期待。旅行者们，我们纳塔见 ！That was a great live stream. That was great. That was their best live stream, 100%. What does that say? I don't know what that says. Anybody read Chinese? I don't know what that says. Was that it? Just want to make sure. 我感觉他们很放松，比我们之前这个，我在场的时候要要要轻松很多。鸡哥怎么回事？都不提前跟我商量一下？还有不是跟我说是综艺效果吗？走整的是我啊啊！啊，我不知道，龙龙不知道，我只是一条孽龙。What is this guy? 我是大伟龙要我干的，要找到大伟龙去啊！我不在的时候，他们谈笑风生。有，好玩吗？好玩，咋了？上午要 bug 了。Oh, this is just like. So basically, this is just like side stuff. Anything else? Okay, so now we got anniversary messages from the cast. Hey, Zach! Big shout out to Zach. I've met him. I'm Zach Aguilar, voice of Ether, co-hosting with my friend and voice of Albedo, Koi Dao. Huh? Friend? Huh? The best friends. Like, uh, like so that what, time what? you played Wind Trace without me. <laughs> hey, everyone! Genshin Impact invited us to be part of the fourth anniversary celebration this year. Four years. That's crazy. I'm only recording still because I want to see so if there's anything These else they're going to do. Years, I've had the pleasure of I don't really think there's going to be grunt sounds as Ether voicing emotional dialogue in the Archon quests and working on the special programs. So many great memories have been made, not only working on the game, but also playing it. What do you think, Koi? Oh my gosh, four years. Wow. You know, I turned four years old once. <laughs> it was awesome. I love Koi so much, <laughs> dude. Koi is like the best, Back man. Back then, I never thought I'd get to voice such a cool and intelligent character in an exciting game like Genshin Impact. We know that many of our fellow castmates have had some fun, sometimes truly unbelievable experiences over the past four years. So let's bring in a few special guests to, as Albedo might say, <clears throat> turn the unknown into the known. Let's do it. Let's hear let's it. Go. Let's hear from the castmates, right? Happy four years. Hey, Kimberly. Everyone. I met I'm Kimberly as well. Camera. Kimberly is Voice really cool. And I know what you're thinking. A lot of people are like, wow, you sound so different from Nita. One time during a rare live stream for me, someone in the chat told me to prove that I was actually the voice of Nita. So both online and in person at conventions, I get a handful of people who seem to be very surprised that that's that how voice acting works out of my body. You can either do a natural or something crazy. It's that's why I can do a Majibu like. voice. I ain't going to do it right now. But. Without a, everyone who attends. To prove I'm not lying. Yeah, that's super relatable. Like I usually just scream Windblade at people to prove that it's me, <laughs> or, or make a huh sound, or even just in your private moments. Yeah, I've heard you scream it. Exactly. I turn to my right side and I scream Windblade. It helps scare away the demons. That's weird. That just You're got a weird, guy. That Anyways, just got weird, yeah. Guests. I am so, lot of Genshin Impact I am so sad because she was at Anime Impulse and I did not get to, I did not meet her. I feel so bad. 
I would have loved to so like talk with her. When fans come up to my table and realize that I don't usually sound like her. So someone will come up and say, Oh, are you the voice of Red and Shogun? Oh yeah, that's me. Can you do a line? And I'll be like, Inazuma shines eternal. And watching their eyes light up always makes me smile. Genshin Impact fans are it's so a, it's It's so awesome to see the I voice love actors. You guys. I personally have a lot to celebrate. When Genshin Impact dropped, almost immediately, my life began to change. Keith is so natural way. as like Zhongli. I began it's to so meet perfect. more and more people online, at conventions, and honestly, in my daily life, who are so passionate about this game. So passionate. And, and <laughs> I've learned that I love to sneak up on Genshin Impact cosplayers, and then when I'm right behind them, say something like, This is an age of gods and monsters. <laughs> I wish not for dominion, yet I cannot watch the common folk suffer. <laughs> I mean, the reactions are. I bet. Priceless. I absolutely bet. And I wish that would happen. I hear from people me. online that that was one of the highlights of their con. I meet people that are so excited about this game that they literally tear up. I mean, honestly, how lucky am I to be a part the of the voice actors of Genshin are all really good. I don't care what anybody says; they're all Aww, really good. That's so sweet. Wow. And that is such a funny thing to do at conventions. Can you imagine sneaking up on people and 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 and, and suddenly speaking in voice? <laughs> it's Except a... I just get really shy. Yeah. Koi Koi does uh resemble somebody who'd be shy. Okay, first off, it's I want to give a big thank you to the team at Genshin Impact for Ray letting me play Chase, the baby. most beautiful man I have ever seen. Seriously, Nubalette is a prized character of mine. One I'm just so Nubalette excited is a gorgeous to play man. and dig into gorgeous. for years to come. Well, he does have a range of subtle emotional beats and uh, some true cathartic twists. Nothing about him can possibly compare to the elephant seal in the room. The month of Oratrice Mechanique Denali's Cardinal changed my life. <laughs> Are we really Genshin going to Batman talk about so the freaking Oratrice Mechanique me Denali's Cardinal meme? Do. And their gratitude about, he said the thing, is always a palpable delight. That <clears> was <throat> the right, best meme things. of like, or a tree mechanique Denali's Cardinal. Thank you. That was like the best meme. He said the like, thing. Oh. He said the thing. <laughs> he did say the thing. You say the thing. Or a tree mechanique Denali's Cardinal. Or a tree mechanique Denali's Cardinal. That is so Yippee. crazy. Yippee. Zach is so, who's so the most beautiful talented. Man you've ever bro. seen Zach? There's a correct answer. When I looked into your eyes, Koi. Mm hmm. Go on. <laughs> I knew that the most beautiful man I ever saw was the reflection in your eyes. Me. I, I well. knew it. I knew it. I, I knew love these two. They're so funny. Well, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. And All what right. an awesome four years so that was of Genshin Impact. So much. Is happening. this the end of it? Yeah. We've got some surprises in store, so stay tuned for other Tavat Talks. Tavat Talks. Talks. Stay tuned. Talks. All right? So, what else do we got? Is that it? Nope, it's not. Welcome to Tavat Talks. Hey! I'm Sarah so, we got this more characters me, that they're going to talk about. Joining me are my lovely co hosts, Crystal Yay! and Jenny. Yay! Join <laughs> Mia and Clorand. I voice Clorand, the legendary champion duelist herself. Pew, pew, pew. Ooh. Hello. Pew, pew, pew. It is me. I have returned. It is Jenny <laughs> Okabori. I am the voice of Yoi Mia. Um, so, and I hope this anniversary sparks joy with all of you oh. out there. <laughs> <laughs> I see so this is gonna there. this is gonna be basically what we're ending off on. How are you two celebrating? But again, celebrating? I'm in hope oh, that they're waiting to do uh, like the years. anime. That's like enough to get a bachelor's They need to degree. do the I mean, anime. Oh dang it! Graduation <laughs> from Genshin Impact University. That's yes. what I'm doing. Yes. I don't know about oh you guys. Gosh. What about you, Sarah? That's amazing. Um, I haven't planned anything specific yet, but I'm sure I'll play more Genshin Impact as usual. <laughs> Come on, you've been in this game for since you the beginning. You should see your twin, Sarah. Nothing? <laughs> no, don't. No, no. Listen, listen. <laughs> I've been looking for him <laughs> for four long years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. Um, so I mean, listen. So, uh, Crystal, you mentioned that you're 
gonna graduate. I think I'm, I'm uh, gonna yeah. enroll in grad school so I can stay here for as long as I can. Yes, yes I'm enjoying sure. that time. Because um, that's, I mean, that's the best move. Get that PhD. Yeah. Also, <laughs> uh, PhD in Genshin Impact. I am Impact. very Could much you a person imagine? that is motivated by sweet little treat culture, and so mm -hmm. I just want to know when my next sweet little treat's gonna be, and oh, so yeah. I think I want to indulge in a cake. I want to get one of yes. the, the like, Genshin Impact cake. birthday cakes that they mm -hmm. send you on your birthday. Mm -hmm. Four mm -hmm. years of looking mm -hmm. at them, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I want one. Yeah. Oh my god, about time. Anyway. I would love for somebody to make Let's me a Genshin Impact cake. and turn to our guests and see what they have to say about this occasion. Let's see who else is going to be here. Let's go, come on. Happy anniversary, hey, Genshin Impact! Brittany. I'm so humbled to be part of such a vast world and talented cast. We already when know I that we're going to see uh, Alejandro Zab. I'm almost, I'm almost 99.9% sure. A business owner who is often told they are intimidating, who was discouraged at the beginning of their career, and who has big aspirations. Throughout the recording, Chiori has continued to inspire me through her bold and individualistic style, and I hope to have brought a bit of me to you all through her. Oh, that's adorable. That is so I, sweet. Wait, that's I lovely. Love that. I'm surprised I love she didn't do a voice line. Everybody was doing <laughs> voice lines. That is so great. That's an amazing answer. I really love how like Genshin Impact shows a lot of really strong women. You know, like a business yes. owner as like true. being one of very such true. A we do love our strong amazing. women, boys yes. and girls. Yes. Do we not, oh or do we not? And I, I feel like a lot of us do feel such connections to our mm -hmm. characters, and that's partially what I think, you know, like helps us. I really connect bring them yeah. to life you know what i yeah. mean <laughs> i feel like i'm a lot like lumine because i also have a twin brother in real life yes. mm -hmm. yeah so it's it's one of and the reasons it's always that it's always cool, cool, cool to find similarities there. between you guys, and like, the voices that so you voice for me when i did a lot of my like Honestly, dragon ball voicing I, stuff for like the side projects that i was a part of like the dokkan awards and then doing the thing for stray for tiktok uh for me like doing the majibu voice uh i'm hungry all the time so being majibu is dope <laughs> so, so um, uh, hello, 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 Effa. Hello, how are you doing today? Was giving me direction for the opening cutscene where they get separated. It actually made me cry. Oh, <laughs> the end. <laughs> All right, who else? I hey, Amberly. <laughs> if you could tell, and I love to. Laugh I still want to meet her too. I think that she, like, she did such an amazing job as Purina. It's doing very weird, like. I, I'll, I'll go over it after. I she also goes kept cracking up later on when she's directing and shouts, "Action!" <laughs> I had so much fun doing those in a variety of ways, and I'm so so happy the team liked the variety and even some of the sillier ones, you know the ones. <laughs> On the other side of the spectrum, one of my favorite scenes I got to do was when Farina was on stage reliving all those different moments yeah. from her past up to the current that day. That was so crazy. I'm not joking when I say I couldn't stop crying in the booth while recording those. Legit. Tears for days. I can only imagine. Oh. Like, so what I was going to say was like, that's the a lot of tears today. Flip That's a lot of from my Fiorina know, when you're like a lot of the Genshin community right. was like we hate Fiorina. Gosh, but I'm just, like, I'm gonna as you went through the story, I, it flipped. So Everyone cast, like, loved Fiorina, Amber, and I agree. And I think Fiorina yeah. was amazing. such a great. It's very uh, true. Like, that whole thing with Fontaine, that story was so good. I can confirm that. So I feel like Fiorina was just made for her. Right, and it's like the the way that a lot of people match up with their characters and relate so well. It's one of the most incredible things. And like seriously, Fiorina has some. Of the cutest laughs yes. ever. Absolutely agree. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, okay. Um, I mean, back to the question though. What about you, Jenny? Okay, so I mean, my first job when I moved out to LA was actually being a pyrotechnician. Wait, hey, no, yo, yes. what? Um, what? That's amazing. What? I had That's such a cool. blast, pun fully intended, by the way, at that <laughs> job, and it really <laughs> helped shape who I am. And I honestly feel like Yoimi and I were kind of meant for each other. Oh, it definitely wow. feels like fate. Our similarities even like go beyond working with fireworks too. Yoimi and I are extremely bubbly and very talkative, as you guys have probably picked up on by now. Um, <laughs> and however, we love I think... you both for it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, however, I think the most meaningful similarity is the love we both feel for our disabled fathers. Uh, oh. My father has since passed, but oh. I grew up as the primary caretaker for my father who had Alzheimer's. So seeing you and Mia interact and help her father uh, really struck a chord with me. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit choked up. Oh, I love her so no. much. Um, Yoimi honestly means more to me than I could ever properly articulate. I've met so many friends, like present company included, 
because of this opportunity that I've gotten to voice her, um, including her Japanese voice actor, um, who I got to meet last year, and she was so, so lovely. Oh, amazing. Um, oh, my gosh. And I've also just seen so much of the world through conventions. Yeah. It's it's such an unbelievable honor to lend my voice to that, That's Rainbow, why I'm just, always like, inspired just, to try and do more voicing. It brings like, joy to so many people all over the world. The, you do such a beautiful job it, of it. It's, it's very Thank much you. like... If you, I want to be able to experience that for myself, you know when what I mean? When I was mean? cast as Venti, I was Erica. like, Yay! I'm so excited to be a bard because I love singing. Yay! Um, so for their Vine Laser Fest, Venti keeps talking about how he's rehearsing this big song and that he's going to perform it. I forgot the about the Va Vine Laser Fest. So when we got to I that really final did. performance, I was like, hey, just for funsies, since we're running ahead of schedule, can I do a version where I sing at the end just for fun? And the team was like, sure, if you can come up with a tune really quick, we can do it just for fun. Um, so I went on break for like five minutes and came back with a little tune for the lyrics and then uh, recorded it in one take. Um, it was super fun, um, but I didn't expect them to actually use it in the game because like I've said 5,000 times, it was just for fun. And so when the event came out and people started excitingly tagging me in posts about Venti singing, I was so shocked and so excited. Oh Aww. my gosh. And it was just so sweet to see how much Venti singing meant to the fans. Like the reactions were so heartwarming and I, oh, I was just, I was so happy. Um, I'd love to sing in the game for another event sometime, you know, but I'm also happy to go back to his pretty poetry too. I'm just really happy that I got to sing at least once in the game. <laughs> oh, Wait, yes. what? That's oh incredible. Gosh. She just came up with the tune, like, yes, spontaneously, just there. Right on the spot. I am wondering I if we're getting, like, if this is it. I know, like, you know what I mean? I know. And, and, like, it pretty I much is. Charlie I'm almost certain it is. heard the Venti song from that event, mm -hmm. but it is, is so good. Erica did such an amazing job. That's <laughs> incredible. One take, so five minutes. She's so stinking talented. Just, she really is. She's so talented. She's so That's stinking crazy. talented. crazy. I know, I know. Oh well, gosh. okay, so we've been hearing about how all these people feel like a connection to their character, and I was wondering, Crystal, if oh! you have an answer to that. Oh my gosh! Ooh, juicy. I mean, yeah, <laughs> no, I I think one of the things that really brought me so close to Cloran was when I found out she was a secret nerd. Like, <laughs> the second I found out she plays tabletop, and like, like plays tabletop with her friends, like Navia, and I was like, that's crazy because yeah. I walked in and everyone on the call was like, "Hey, so I don't know if you know about tabletop <laughs> or or like um, you know certain games involving tabletop." And I was yeah. like, "Are you kidding me? <laughs> I live for that stuff. It's I love it so much." And so to be able to bring that side to her was that was, just that was really so cool. I wasn't expecting them to do a tabletop thing with Coran, but I thought it was um, I thought it was an interesting super, uh, super friendly. Like you it was an interesting either. take like for Coran because and, like, like yeah. down yeah. to business, but. Secretly, she's just out here loving her friends and like supporting people. And yeah, I don't know. I, I loved that aspect of her. She just felt, she really came alive when I found that much more about her personal life beyond yes. her role in the court. It was so much fun. And that's so yeah, cute. I, I, love I love her that. so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Well, it's been so great to hear from all these different actors. I've loved this. This is great. This, <laughs> this is, is so really much fun. fun. I know. I love hearing about how everyone connected, like personally. It's like that yeah. little backstage glimpse. So I wonder. So it get. looks like they're done with this part. So yeah, I wonder what the next eight the minutes are going to be. Exactly. I thought they were going to have I, I Alejandro on here, but that's surprising. I, I feel right? like no time at all has passed. Somehow, like, and also all the time has passed. <laughs> like, time. It's so surreal. It really it is. is. Who knows? <laughs> well, oh my hey. Gosh. I mean, well, this has been great. I've had so much fun with y'all today. Same. And I can't wait for the next. So, I mean, hey, everyone, yeah. stay tuned for more. And happy anniversary, travelers. Yes, it is another anniversary. anniversary. That, it, again, Woo! it is so crazy to think that it's been four years. Four years of Genshin Impact. Oh, now we're getting, we're getting Alejandro Saab. Let's go. Hello, everybody. This is Alejandro Saab, voice of Sino. And thanks for tuning in to Tevet Talks. Hey everyone, Joe Zija, voice of Risley here, wishing everybody a happy Genshin Impact four-year anniversary. Yeah, same. So more Tevat talks. I can't believe it's been four years. Oh my gosh. I remember when the game first started and I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. And now I'm like, I know a little bit of what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't think I've even reached a little bit. I, I think like when I stream the game, it's it's mostly entertaining because I don't know what I'm doing at all. It's, but it's been <laughs> it's been awesome to get to know the fan base and the game. And it's just this... 
Genshin Impact has become this whole massive world. Like who could Genshin imagine? Impact is co yeah, is considered it's, it's one of the biggest games yeah, in so totally the it. world right now. So without further delay, let's check out what our voice actors have to say about this landmark occasion in our journey. Hi, I'm Erin Avet, the English Arlequino! Uh, Let's go, AKA baby! Arlequino. Oh, a.k.a. Father. We've recorded yes, father. many Arlequino scenes over the years that I am really quite fond of, but I think the ones that I recall most warmly are those that explored her moments of vulnerability and chilly tenderness, particularly in those few intimate moments with her children or with Claire V. I knew we made something special while in the mm -hmm. booth, but oh boy. I was very happy with how Arlequino with all evolved. the other actors' performances in there instantly made me so proud to be a part of this cast. And yes, it's also quite fun to play her viciously cool and aloof yet badass sides too. So thank you all for letting me be a small piece of this huge We stand Arlequino in these streets, such an baby. And welcoming community. Congrats on four amazing years, Genshin. Here's to many more. Agreed. Man, Arlequino is After so today's cool stream, I absolutely agreed. I think Genshin has story. evolved. It was dark and it was just sad at times. But you know, a lot of work goes into building the voices for these characters, you know? Yeah, and sometimes like you don't know what the work's going to be un until you get there. One of my favorite lines of Risley's is if the Duke wants somebody dead, he needs no justification. And a lot of people don't know that it's one of the first scenes we ever did in, in the booth. And I remember thinking, like, whoa, this guy's like rough. He's a prison warden. He's over here saying he's above the law. Okay, I guess I guess you know we'll play him tough, right? We'll play him really rough. But then it turned out that he was this really intelligent, respectable, even like kind man. <laughs> and so I just had to take that toughness that was you know kind of right out the gate, and then apply it to his otherwise really formal language. He speaks really intelligently, but he's also got this kind of like blue collar spirit that makes for a super interesting mix. It was just one of those. I will say, as much as I don't like Risley's gameplay, Risley yeah, is one yeah, of those characters like that, that I'm like absolutely awesome, especially when portraying these characters that have he actually so is many really layers good. and so many like dimensions. in regards I mean, to his character second stuff, story. So. We got to see so many layers of Sino. You know, uh, we're we're so used to him being nice to his friends after so many patches in Genshin Impact. You know, like he's like, oh, let's play Genius Invocation TCG. Let, here's a a random joke, but it's cool that we finally got to you know. A nice reminder that he's still the general Mahamatra. Oh, yeah, when he fought yeah. Sethos. And, it, like, all of us have our own little stories about how we mm -hmm. came to it. And they're all really unique. So uh, let, let's see how some others spent their time behind the mic with us. Yeah. First hey, of all, it's Brenna. congratulations awesome. on four years, you cute people. I mean, wow, she I have been cute. part of the incredible Genshin. She likes bearded men. She called me cute, not you, Chad. And let me just say... I was instantly hooked from the talented team at MiHoYo and our voice directors to the hardworking studio crew and the players around the globe. There is such an incredible energy tying us all together. When we started our records and I dove into Navia's emotional roller coaster of a backstory, I knew that this game was something special. I mean, Malus and Silver still make me tear up just thinking about it. Oh them. yeah, that whole storyline was so crazy. Oh, man. Silver and Malus. I miss those guys. They were so cool. They were funny, but, man, good times. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to meet him. I haven't gotten to that part of the game yet, so oh. uh, before we get into any spoilers, let's hear from Amber and Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations! Emily! We just pulled her! I think, I think our character's really the most good. exciting for me, because I get to be a part of a game that transcends not only story and beauty, but also a great community of players. Emily was such a fun character to play. She's calm during stressful or terrifying situations, yet gentle when it's called for. She can read the room and sniff problems out pretty quickly too. I knew she had to be mature enough to have the smarts and kind enough to care for others. Her character impressed me every day in the studio. When I found out which character I was to play and her impact in the game, I was on a break in studio and the engineer told me Emily was the main character for this update. Initially, I didn't understand. But then once we recorded more and more, it hit me. I, I still got to do the, the story and all that. Family, which is I still got to do the story awesome. for uh, for it this update. So I got to get that done before Thank we go into me. the next update. 
I still can't believe I've been in the game. For Cloud years. Mummy! It's wild to think that I started as Cloud Retainer the NPC, but I am so proud of getting to play her. Not only is she a character that has helped me stretch I am my so happy that we actually get But she's uh, also Zhang so Yun. full of life and mystery and so unintentionally hilarious. <laughs> I started playing her as the mysterious. Genshin could. Not so Genshin kind could. They did some good stuff, but again, and it's every competition. Time I would for events, competition I get makes to games better. Into other so now we're going to see Wuwa's retort. Funny quiz, what is Wuwa going to do to retort Genshin Impact's anniversary, choice. right? So when I was asked it might take a couple updates, but yeah. Yun, one was over the moon. I mean, with her human form, I would be able to share her softer side, the side that we've only had glimpses of. So one was really, <clears throat> one was really loving getting to play the funny, soft, strong, and intelligent, sassy, and loving character that she is. I mean, she is the type of character that has made Genshin Impact so special for so and many And she's the extremely hot. Thank you so much for asking me. To the amount her. of images that I've seen of her Genshin just Impact. mint. Oh, that so man, mint that even the mint I'm picker would love it. Game. I, I love Genshin Impact, and, and just hearing so many people and all of the actors in this cast just be so excited about it. it I'm not gonna lie, it made me tear up a little, and I know that folks are gonna be like, "No, you didn't." And I'm like, "Man, it it just let makes the, my heart all let warm the man cry." It. Like, yeah, on, <laughs> let the man cry, <laughs> dude. I, one of the things, like the through line here for me, is how we have this thing called Genshin Impact, or any story really, and, mm -hmm. and all we're hearing from actors is that how it evolved, right? Like it. No one knows what shape it's gonna take. You just release this thing into the world, and then the collaborative efforts of all these people kind of morph and change and it's it's yeah. developed so i love hearing organic. from voice actors it's really really it's cool like a living like breathing this is the cool thing about it's just art like these types yeah. of streams but, is hearing from the so voice actors that, that I get to and be it makes this, me inspired uh, to do more with Same. you and everybody else <laughs> yeah uh, well everyone that's a wrap on to that talks thanks for tuning in that should be the end these of everything four right? years of genshin impact have been amazing and the adventure we have just passed the two hour on. mark jiminy christmas so that should be it. That should be it. Right? End stream? End card? That's it? I think that's it. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Don't, don't look at the Cyrax stuff. Wow. Okay. So we're finally done. And I'm going to try and uh, end this recording as quickly as possible. So we got the banner details. We're getting uh, Kazua and... Shogun is reruns. Milani is going to be the first character that comes out alongside Kachina. We're getting a free Kachina from the story. Uh, we're getting Kanich in the second update. So it's going to be Milani and Kazuha with Kachina. And then Kanich and Raiden Shogun as the second part of those banners, right? The events look really, really good. We're celebrating anniversary early this year, it looks like. Um, usually it's like in the point one, point twos. We're doing it in point zero. Oh. Speaking of which, the anniversary rewards are kind of the same, except for one big thing. The .0 updates are now going to give you a free five-star selector, which is something that Genshin Impact has been asking for for so long. The community has been asking for that for so long. So that is really, really big. Big optimization updates, including the stuff from the dev notes that we talked about before. But what's really crucial here is that we finally got the artifact update that we've all been asking for. We are now going to be getting stuff as rewards that'll give us main stat selectors and sub stat selectors, right? It's going to be rare materials most likely, but at the same time, it's still really, really good. Genshin's back. I will give props to them. I was very skeptical going into this. Like the dev notes were great that were released earlier this week. I thought the dev notes were very good. I was not expecting the amount of stuff that they talked. And that's what's great. Uh, other news also as well. Weapon banners are going down to one fate. We're getting a new summoning animation that uh, basically increases our chances of getting the new five stars. Which I don't know if that's going to change the rates in general. It makes me very high on that. But I don't know. I don't think that's the case. I think it's just more so like if you get it, it's a rare animation. And you're like, yes, I know I won my 50-50. Granted, my only concern, or not concern, but my only gripe with that is that it made my summoning videos that much funnier. If I lost the 50-50, right? Now I'll know if I lose the 50-50 because 
basically, or just about. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of really great stuff from this update. Um, I'm very excited. And honestly, I have a lot of thinking to do in regards to, do I want to continue where I left off and start summoning for characters again? Or do I want to just continue on with being free to play and being uh, where I'm at? So that's, that's the name of the game right now. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So, but that's going to be it for today. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you think about this update 5.0. I'm sorry for all the spam that's going to be happening because I'm going to be uploading a bunch of shorts, TikToks, Instagrams. I'm going to be busy for the next three hours. So, anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Love you all to death. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.